During the last two days, we have been talking about uh, many topics and what has struck me that it seems to be very difficult to uh, penetrate a topic, right? And I was wondering what does it mean to inquire into something in an intelligent way? Right? And perhaps with that spirit to uh, go into the question of intelligence. What we were talking yesterday. I thought we did that <coughs> yesterday. Mm -hmm. We said, if I remember rightly, that there is the intelligence of thought, which, is, which then that intelligence is limited, mm -hmm. and is there any other kind of intelligence which is not bound to time. Mm -hmm. And we said that, that there is, so we went into that, love and compassion. And out of that, that intelligence which is not limited at all, because <coughs> we said if love is limited, right, then it's not love. Mm -hmm. If it is, if love has an opposite, as hate, anger, jealousy, and so on, mm -hmm. then the, then it's not love. That's what we talk, discussed yesterday. How would you? inquire into that intelligence which is not born of thought? Well, it seems to me that if we are using thought, then we have to be very hesitant in what we say, would you? Not only that, but how would you inquire into that intelligence which is not mm -hmm. the product of thought? How would you inquire into it? <coughs> right, sir? That's what you are saying. Yes. How would you inquire into it? Would you inquire into it by saying that which is not? Mm. You mean by what is false? Yes, what is false or what? No, what it is not. All right. I don't know if I'm conveying this. What we said, <coughs> hate is not love. Right? So, is there in our psyche, in the brain skull, in the skull, <laughs> I won't even use the brain now, <laughs> I'm <laughs> apprehensive of experts, in the skull, which is all the enormous activity of human beings, right? All the activities of human beings are contained in the skull, within the skull, within that sphere. And is love within it or <coughs> outside it? That we asked yesterday that too, that question. How do you inquire it? Well, perhaps uh, we could start by saying what is uh, an action that is not intelligent. For example, if we take a machine, you see a machine, you could say that it's repetitive all the time doing the same thing. And in the same, thing, in the same way, one could say that the brain is disposed to work according to its condition. And this condition, that, this condition is somehow always the same. You see, for example, when uh, I see a person that uh, I don't like, the, the brain seems to give meaning to that situation and plays for itself out. In, in that sense, I would say it's the same as a machine. You see, a machine has a program, preset. Yes, after all, we are programmed. Yes. Well, but also, the, this very same process, I wouldn't call it a machine, yes. is capable of coming up with something which is completely 
new different, novel yes. creators. Oh, yes, that's different, right. right. So in that sense, right. it is nothing to do with machine. Mm -hmm. And precisely, mm -hmm. the fact that it can come up mm -hmm. with creative acts. Is, yes. is creation that's uh, there. It means that we're talking, we, the, the, the process cannot yeah. be so simply characterized yeah. as mere repetition, mm. so as in a trivial machine. I would make a distinction, mm. you see, between what, what we call a trivial machine, which is a Coca-Cola machine, mm -hmm. you know, 10 pence going, you know, 50 <laughs> pence going, how it comes to Coca-Cola. Yes. This is a trivial machine. Yeah. This is not mm. what life is about. Of course not. All right. Yeah. So let's not set up a straw man mm. and say, what well, the brain is not. Could we the brain is uh, not that kind of machine. Yeah. Mm. Could we say then this uh, uh, intelligence has not to do with a certain pattern that is repetitive? Right? Would yeah. we agree to that? Yeah. Because yeah. somehow intelligence has to do yeah. something, something that's yes. new out of the pattern. Yes. Right? Um, I think what you said, just that's true. We know uh, in brain research in brain physiology when we are studying brain in the usual way. Then we know that, for instance, the brain is capable of producing values constantly. It makes new uh, ordering the whole uh, outer world in a new way. In that sense, it produces mm -hmm. quite new kind of attention mm -hmm. or values and uh, that is not the same as the knowledge ordinary information it's just is it new it's or new. is it yes a different aspect of the old mm -hmm. yes, yes okay, that that's an interesting question yes mm -hmm. what's a good question what is the the nature of the creative act Yes, is it just well, right. then we must go into what is creation right. <laughs> and what is invention. <laughs> All right, shall we do that? Juan, I don't know if yes, I'm interrupting yes. you. No, no. Or somebody else. Yeah, I mean, the question is how to, does one come about this intelligence? Ah. Huh? How is, it, is that intelligence? Can it be cultivated? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All cultivation implies thought, mm -hmm. time. Yes. Are we, acting, in, are we in acting intelligently now? No, just a minute. Let's finish this. Right. right? Right. What did I see just now? That all cultivation is in, in time. Is in time. And also, it has a motive and a result. Mm -hmm. Cultivation implies motive, result, and time. Mm -hmm. That's the factor of any cultivation. Is that in the intelligence which is born of some totally different type, character, different state or what you like to call it, mm -hmm. is that cultivable? It doesn't seem so. I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I would say that the cultivation would come from actually observing that in our life this quality of um, the new, the flash of the creative the, the, the fresh of perception, for example, the freshness of mm -hmm. perception is something that is happening all the time, but that we normally tend to obscure it mm -hmm. because our mind is too speedy. But it is possible to cultivate a, s a more slow pace of thought, and thereby one begins to see the constant flashes of this quality of creative insight or creative intelligence mm -hmm. happening all the time. I, so it seems to me that it can be cultivated, not so much as to cultivate it as such, but to cultivate one's accessibility to you it. You mean by a process of observation, rather? Well, observation is not the word I would use. It's more a quality of taming the uh, raw quality the of one's attention. mind. Attention. attention would be good, yeah. 
Um, I'm not so happy with attention because it implies something that is too uh, forced somehow. No, no. Mm. When, no. I don't want to go into all that. Mm -hmm. What are we discussing now? Let's be clear. Okay. Intelligence. Intelligence. The word, uh, you you yeah. asked the question, can this intelligence be cultivated? Yes. Can that intelligence, which is not born of thought, mm -hmm. can that be cultivated? Obviously mm -hmm. not. Yes. But somehow there must be... Well, we'll yeah. come to that a minute yeah. ago, so oh. we'll get it. Mm -hmm. We said any kind of cultivation implies a motive, time, and a bit, and an end. Mm -hmm. Is love cultivable in that sense? I know you yeah. don't like that word, yes. it's foreign to you, probably all of you. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> if you begin to evaluate things differently, then in my brain I am changing my brain also. We know that there are few changes which we don't know from where they come. We just notice that they come there. So I think after all, there is a kind of possibility for changing the brain, and it is with the values, you see. So that means, In, doesn't it, the yes. quality of silence. That is the better silence. silence. Yes, the not quality thought. quality of quietness. Yes. A sense of yes. everything in a bed. Yes. And then, in that tranquility, something happens. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, not right. not of thought, but being yeah, quiet, yeah, being quiet. Yeah. letting the brain just be. Can that be? <laughs> yes. When our brain is ah. so ha has been active from childhood, work, yes. work, work, struggle, uh -huh. pain, um, learn, don't learn. <laughs> the whole human struggle, human endeavor. Can the brain, which has been so conditioned, can it be ever be quiet? Mm -hmm. There exists a possibility, but it is difficult. But can you tell us, uh, brain researchers, what the value, what, what could it possibly be? Because we are in a limit, you see. We know that in the brain occur changes, and these changes bring about new values. Yes, sir. But what are they? We don't know, because with knowledge we cannot go, go into, into them. No, we we cannot. That's we both different. agree. Can you please yeah, we tell both something? Agree that there that. must be certain, uh, certain ground mm -hmm. yes. of quietness, of tranquility, so that something new can come. Mm -hmm. Would you agree to this? Yes. And that that can be cultivated. Wait, sir. Question, quick. Well, that's quick. a question. 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 I mean the attitude. No, no, no silence. Be. Silence is not an attitude. Mm. No, but to make yourself available to silence is an attitude. No, no, wait. Then who, mm. is, who is it that's making you available? That which needs or requires or wants the silence. No, so you no. You begin with a desire again, and a want. Okay, in this yes. no. Yes. no. Yes, but Again, oh. in, there, there has to be a desire no. to make itself available to non-desire. <laughs> Please, Please go yeah. back again, you see? No. Physiologically, no, because we let the brain no. be. <laughs> this is just there and there. No, I mean, uh, sorry. we, we, I we might go into a very long discussion here when yeah. you say the brain stops. I have ne never seen a brain stop which is not I dead. I have seen my brain stop. No, but you, <laughs> if, I, if I put electrodes, as an, as an yes. electrophysiologist, you know that if I put electrodes, in your brain, it will not be inactive. It will be just yes. as active as I now. Know that, yes. So that doesn't yes. mean anything in terms of saying yes. the brain stop. It doesn't you stop. Say no, no. The brain has no. its own, I want you to be yes. careful, but that thing which is be inside the sky, yes. All right. <laughs> it has its own rhythm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And there's the rhythm of hope. Right? Mm -hmm. Can the rhythm of thought be quiet? 
That's always safe. Yes, it can. No, wait a minute, sir. Mm -hmm. Quiet, not just temporarily. Yes. Not all for long. But? But quiet. Once and for all. Yep. Yeah, may I no, say? Yes, let me explain. <laughs> you see, you're, you're objecting to this. No. When you say once I am for not. all, it means time. Yes. Um, you see, this is our difficulty. A silent mind, silence, is not once and for all. You want it once and for all. And when then, when you say once and for all, you introduce the whole movement of time. Are we, are we in time now? Right now? Of course. Right. Yeah. So we can only point to what we are not now. Since we no, are in time no, and you are mentioning something which is out of time, how can we do it no, we are except not. by pointer, a pointer in time? No, we are to asking, sir, whether the brain, whether the thing that is inside the sky <laughs> <laughs> can ever be quiet, apart from its own rhythm. Hmm. That's the question we are asking. No, I think it that can. May I? Sorry. Please. Yeah. May I say something? I think this is important to clarify that perhaps quietness not, doesn't mean that the brain, the rhythm, has to stop. You see, it's I, not I said this. Yes. No. The the rhythm thought. Thought. She's talking about yes. the rhythm of thought. That's yes. the thought. Not the rhythm of the brain, yes. which, mm -hmm. if it stops, is dead. Yes. yes. But it is. It's, 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 it's no, very. That's right. It. This is the old St. Peter experiment. Right. You cut but the head, there's no life. It is possible for that what is inside. I don't mention brain. <laughs> <laughs> so it is we possible. We use that word. <laughs> <laughs> I am polite, yes. Uh, it is possible for it. We know that the thought stops, so but nevertheless, sometimes. it is. There are functions going on which is not thought. We call it, in brain research, we call it consciousness. It's just the being of, of whatever is inside, but not the thought, not the sensation. Uh, the sensory, the, not the perception, not action, that we know quite well, and you know that also. I think. But let's come back to the question. We have the brain stem. <laughs> brain stem. Uh, Can you know. that this has been a question not only put now, but in most ancient days they put this question. Can the brain, can that thing, can thought, let's keep it, <laughs> okay. can thought come to an end? Uh, yes. But in that vein, we, if we say thought can come to an end, would it be a function of choice? No. No. You don't think it would no, be we choice? No, sun is setting. It's finished. It may come up again tomorrow, but there is the sun has set. And that's not an act of choice? No, of course not. Okay, but it is, a, it is a, 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 an event in time. I, I question that. See, that's my oh, but the sun setting is not in time? No, I introduced them. Yeah, forget okay. the sun setting. Fine. All right. <laughs> Silence, quietness, tranquility, mm -hmm. which means the ending of thought. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Not for a few seconds, but ending. Yeah, Apart from the realm of this possibility, is, would that be a? Would you conceive of that as being some sort of um, event of the brain? No, sir. Or thought? Look, sir, I am thinking, I am thinking all day long about my problems, my wife, my children, my career, my research. You know, I'm at it all day long, and when I go to sleep, it's there again, going on all day and all night. Mm. Ceaselessly. Right. And it is wearing itself out. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, can I, I'm just asking can it all that movement stop for us? Stop. Not stop for some days or some hour. Stop. 
Yeah, no, my experience. Uh -huh. It's not my experience. Why? Because. Well, wait, wait, sir. Wait, wait, wait. May I say Do something at this no, point, no, please? No, <laughs> when you say it's not my experience, then <coughs> your your experience may be very limited. Of course. Therefore, that's not. But it's only that, that's, that's all I have. Ah, no, no. It doesn't. But it doesn't work. I can hear uh, something when you say thought can stop, and I can hear it as a possibility. But it is, remains a mere possibility unless it becomes. Would you experience. like to learn about it? Of course. Would you like to find but, out? Yes, but can I say something right yes, before? Yes, of course. Okay. It seems that there is a third middle way, may I say, possibility, which is not thought as ceaseless, neither thought as gone, but there is an intermediate possibility which is close to my own investigation or experience, which is thought as being permeable. In other words, thought at the beginning, it seems that thought is a solid thing, that it never stops. Upon closer investigation, one sees that thought is actually have lots of gaps. It is like not yes, like sir. a solid veil, but it has big and holes it, in it. Yeah, an and in between the an holes there is between thoughts. No, it's not just intervals. It's like thought is little glimmers in a very, in a much larger space. It is not just a space. But it is still, not just it a is thought. still movement of thought. There is movement of thought, but within a vaster context. Yes, yes, yes. It's Fine. still thought. Oh, yes, but That's it is all. in a vaster context, which is not the same as ceaseless thought. No, sir. Uh, there is a dramatic that. change from one to the other. Okay. So, I want to, to know whether this is not also part of, of your experience. No, I don't. I distrust all experience. Including yours. <laughs> including yours. <laughs> <laughs> including yours. Yes, sir. I'm very skeptical about my own experience. Because you can get de deceived terribly. So what is the source of the understanding then, if it is not your own experience, or my own experience, no, or myself, no, or I'll his own let's experience? Let's leave the word experience. That's a complicated word. OK, what would you use instead? I don't know. We'll find out. All right. We're asking a very simple question, which is very complex. There is the rhythm of the brain inside, right? Mm -hmm. That's, you agree to that? Yes, no problem. Then there is the rhythm of thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can that rhythm, not in a vast consciousness, can that rhythm of thought stop for mm -hmm. Right? That's all. Not induced, not cultivated, not chosen. Huh? Not chosen. Of course, I mean that. That cho when you it choose, not cultivated, there is it couldn't be activity chosen. of desire. Right. Mm -hmm. So is, is there a cessation of thought? Could it be that if it should not be induced? Would there exist the possibility that if I devaluate, you understand the thoughts, uh, that I don't give any values to thought? Could it be possible that then it no, ceases? Not I don't, I mean, <laughs> yes, I no, ask. Just me, how do we investigate into it? Fine. I hear the possibility now. I don't even know of the possibility. Or oh, the question. I just posed that question. Sure. Which, all right. All right. Okay. No, then no, no, just a minute, sir. See what happens. If I pose a question mm -hmm. and you reply to it, mm -hmm. and then I reply to your question, mm -hmm. and we keep this dialogue going till there is only the question remains, and not you, and I disappear. You follow? Me? Yes. You fo Fine. There's only the question. Great. Which then has a tremendous vitality. Let's do it. 
Do you understand what I mean? Absolutely. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Are we together in this? Yes. At least. That we have posed a question. That is, <coughs> can the rhythm of thought, which has been going on for, from the beginning of one's life till the die, can that rhythm of thought come to an end? You reply, and I've, this dialogue goes on. And then you say, look, in that process, only the question remains. Right? You don't answer, I don't answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when the question remains, your brain is quiet. Because you are not acting, I am not acting, only the question. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? mm -hmm. That's one. And this has been a problem of every human being, right? To have some quietness inside there some peace, some say, for God's sake, stop. <laughs> right? Right, sir? And they have invented various methods to stop it. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. Control, suppression, right? Agreed. It, it seems the history records many, many attempts to do that, yes. Yeah. Many systems, many methods to say, for God's sake, let me. Mm -hmm. So that my brain, the thing is quiet, apart from its own rhythm. Right? Yes, but why does the brain do that? What? This shattering, why did it fall into that? From, from the very start. I don't understand. Why does it have to be yes. so full of itself? Yes. From, and that, that's, from childhood we have been trained that way, we have been educated. Mm -hmm. All education is work, 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 learn, learn, mm -hmm. put in. You mean it has conditioned that way? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Right? But may I, at this point, I mean, again, please. say yeah, that there is, again, I, I feel that I, I don't want to, no, it doesn't seem complete to put only the two alternatives of either having thought going or stopping it. So there is, again, the middle way possibility of not stopping thought, but making so much room for it that it's not bothersome anymore. But it's still thought. Moving. Yes, but this is like having a, a, a very wild animal, a wild yes, monkey yes. in a small yes. room. That is very bothersome and very complicated. But if the same monkey is in a large field, it's fine. It doesn't bother anybody. Yes, it does what it does. It's yes, monkey business. But it's still... It's still give, a monkey. It still give the space, any amount of space. Uh -huh. It's still the activity of thought. Yeah, there's still a monkey running yeah, around. Yeah, monkey around. But it doesn't bother anybody. No, yeah, I'm not, it's <laughs> not a question of bother. No, 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 but you said, I want some peace. No, I said Or so. men no, have said, no. give me some peace. People right. have asked, the, yeah. asked this question yes. thousands of years ago, right. saying he can thought, however much there may have space, mm -hmm. can in that space, be silent. But Krishnaji, the, the, it could be that the very reason that people experience so much noise is because they're looking for it to be peaceful. No. no in other words, it's a very tension of, in other words, that if you take his position to keep the, do, to have a dialogue here with the question, the fact of the matter is that if you give, the, give, the, give it plenty of space, you don't experience the desire to have that peace, that the people that experience, you know, I give see. me that you quiet are saying, peace or people who are, are you, searching. Are you saying, because I live in a city, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
in a drawer, <laughs> various <Right>. drawers. <laughs> I want space. Yeah. And therefore, uh, that's my desire. Yes. Your relationship inside your thought process is the thing that's the matter, not the fact that you have thought. You're so busy trying to get out of thought that you're cramped. No. So, if you have, if you're in the country, mm -hmm. not in a city's drawer, right. you would then say, my God, how beautiful all this is. Huh? Yeah. You, you revel in it. You say, God, it is beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. In some but way, yeah. thought is still going on. Yeah. That's all my point. I'm not saying... Yeah. Yes. No, 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 but you, you raised the question of stopping thought and no. that question was, you yourself mod, uh, implied it, and I agree, it has a, a motivation, which is mm -hmm. the desire to be free so, from that slavery. So, all right. so okay. we're raising the possibility that to be free from that slavery, maybe it's not necessary to stop thought, but simply to give it space, and maybe then that state of misery can be... Would you say thought in a material process? What does that mean? Yeah. I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> I, I'm afraid I, I would have to ask you that because if in some sense it is, in some sense it is not. In the mm. same way that the image on the television screen, is that image a material mm. process? Well, it is because it needs those little chips yes, to work. Sir. Yes, but sir. it doesn't, it yes, is sir. not All because it is a relationship. I agree. agree, but it's still a material process. Yeah, but it's a relationship. It's a relationship. Maybe. More, yes. That's what is important. more important? Is it a relationship no, or no, is it a material no, process? No, I'm not saying relate. I'm saying just stating something. I'm not saying what is the relationship, etc., yes. etc. Et no, well, I if you just put the question so bluntly, I would say, no, it's not a material yes. process. All right. It's Let's put it more softly. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> cheap. <laughs> he, he, want, he doesn't yeah, want it well, bluntly. Yeah, all right. So let's right. soften okay. it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> better way, yes. <laughs> How do you want to put it off like What is thought? It's a relationship. With what? It come, it's a relationship that is built, like we were saying the other day, it's eminent in the fact of your existence as a human being on this earth. Yes, sir. But It emerges out of that. All right. The human being, what is he? Is he is a relationship in the sense that he is a, a form that has taken place all right. in all you of this energy. You want to discuss relationship? You can't discuss thought without discussing relationship. Huh? You have to discuss relationship when you discuss thought. Yes, sir. Let's discuss relationship. Okay. What is relationship? What do you mean by that word? To be related. Hmm? Well, it has to be my two, father, I'm two or many. To my yes. brother, my father, mm. my mother, my wife, my children. I'm related to the world. To the, mm. to the trees, yes, yes. to the... Nature. Right. Yeah. You are not related. You express the relationship by yes, the sir, virtue I, of your my, presence. I express... You see your... Mm. No, I'm talking at a very or basic level. Yes, but, sir, uh, so am I. So, <clears throat> are we related to nature? By definition, yes. By definition, I don't mean def that definition <laughs> has no meaning. When, when you see that tree and all those marvelous fields and flowers and the animals, are you related to it? Actually, yes. You are in actual connection to everything around you. you are you? Yes. Ac sir, don't let's quibble. No, 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 I mean, but actually. <laughs> that means what? <laughs> that you will not kill anything? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that. Oh, the, yes, the fox is in relationship to the rabbit. If you kill rabbit. that, you kill yourself. Yeah, yes. but the fox is in relationship to the rabbit. Yes, sir, but kills the rabbit. Yes, and yes. it's in relationship so to it. So you kill the fox. That's right. And somebody else kills you. That's yes, right. That seems to be the way of nature's That's relationship. That's the way of nature. <laughs> Just a minute. Love and death. This is accepted way of living. 
Yes, but that's built into nature. Just a minute, sir. I know this game. Come on, Krishna Ji, let's go. I know, I know. But are we not going a little bit away from the main point? There seems to be tremendous resistance. We're asked, can, can thought stop? Can yeah. we an end to it? And oh. we won't go into the question. We want to go around in different directions. and Nobody seems to want to stay with the question. Yes. Yeah. And the Perhaps change can we stay with no, I want to stay with the question, but I, I want also uh. to see that the entire question is dealt with which is the possibility of thought continuing, the possibility of thought stopping, and the possibility of thought having so much space that it doesn't create the problems that we find it normally as creating. Yes. So I, I would like the three possibilities to be considered and not to discard one offhand. And therefore relationship becomes an issue. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't Don't know. What do you think? What is... What what would you consider an intelligent way to approach this issue? Since we've said that we want to consider all aspects of thought, and that we've said thought is relationship, what is the intelligent way to proceed, given this fact? I don't know. (laughs) That's where we're... we're (laughs) Well, but I don't know. I don't think we quite come here to, to ask no, someone to give us the class. answer. Mm-hmm. No, 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 but what is an oh. intelligent yeah. what way is to proceed? What is the question? Let's step by step. First question. What is the question? Desire? No. Oh, if I'm just... I'm asking. Okay. If... Yeah. Is it desire? Is it space? Man, thought, being, contain a small space? Mm-hmm. If there's vast space, it wouldn't, there would be no problem. As, right? Mm-hmm. Is, <coughs> does space give thought? Has, does space prevent thought from having problems? Okay, that's a perfectly valid question. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're saying yes. I'm saying yes, because that is something that I can I can explore, and that it has yes. it's part of my that experience. Is. Thought that stopping is no, foreign to my experience. Forget the stopping. Okay. Well, throw it all board for the moment. I, uh, if 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 I may say so, I would not like to throw it away because I'm interested in learning we'll come something to which we'll is come not to a, we'll available come to, to that me. Present. Okay. We said just before yesterday and the other day that thought is limited. Mm-hmm. It can have vast space, it's still limited. Yes, absolutely. The monkey will still be a monkey. And Mr. Monkey is well known, this monkey business. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. All right. Okay. Go on. Next question. It is still the monkey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then what is the next question? You said there are three possibilities. No, the three possibilities to me had to do with the fact that when the monkey is, when I discover that I can relate or um, see the monkey's action in a vaster space. It is still the monkey. It's still the monkey. That's all. But the space around it has a completely new quality. Yes, but it still remains the monkey. <laughs> the monkey does, but yeah. not the space around the monkey. No, no, that's, that's that. new. That. So, that's so Francesco, new. are you saying that somehow you can control thought? No. You can put thought in a place? Precisely not. This is exactly but what I'm not en- saying. you have enough space. No, this is, mm-hmm. listen to me for yeah. a moment. Precisely, stopping to me is yeah. the synonym of control. Yes. Instead, if I take this wild animal, which is uncontrolled thought, and not throw it away, mm. and not, you know, hit it on the head and try to kill it, but simply make room for it, then by itself, a wild monkey in a big field mm. simply goes and to you, sleep. And you think there's enough room in the universe for thought? This is precisely my point, that it seems to be that human experience mm. is that the, 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 it's possible to grow infinitely. Yeah. That this grow space in can, can grow in infinitely. Grow in infinitely. In I question that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask also, I, I can't understand. 
What is growing? That which is around thought. Is space. Space what? around space thought. Space can go on. Around. Yes, I'm not talking about the literal physical space. I'm talking about that which is where thought lives. The space oh, yeah. around yeah, thought. Really. Do you see where it's leading? Oh, that's sure. oh, I, I don't it's understand it. It's interesting. All right. It's, it's interesting. speculative. No, well, it's, it's speculative. Observation. It's speculative to say thought can stop too. No, I, I'm asking a question. Yeah, the question is, is it's speculative too. only to the extent that one is not willing to see the source of the observation. The source of the observation is to remain in silence and see how thought moves. If I, I see how thought moves... May I ask... Well, he doesn't uh, I think Krishna G was having an issue there because he wouldn't, he wouldn't say, at least I've never heard you say in our previous discussion, that to stay, in, he would say staying in silence is an act of control. In other words, mm. to stay in silence implies that I'm going to think my way into silence. Yeah. That's just another form of control, too. Of course it is. The observer is the observed. Mm. We are That's a real right? dilemma. Yeah. I, I'm lost now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saying that all these actions begin with some sense of desire or a goal or some sense of control. Mm. And, and that how, if you begin with control, can you hope to contr can you control thought? either by giving it a lot of space or by controlling it by trying to stop it. Mm -hmm. I guess what we're saying is that doesn't seem possible to begin that way. Sir, so you, you use the word space. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I can go to the Himalayas hmm? and there's immense space. Hmm. I've been to one spot in the north, where you see 350 miles of snow. You see? Mm. Tremendous. But the monkey is still there. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying. I'm not disagreeing with that. Yes. And that space doesn't affect the monkey. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, somewhat. It makes it tame, and it usually just takes a nap, so goes to sleep. It, you know, it's like a monkey in a small cage is all neurotic, but once it has all the jungle for it, it's a happy monkey. It just have, goes to sleep. I have, <laughs> not always. <laughs> this is quite oh, accurate, no. sir. Mm. Huh? Because you give man any amount of space, any amount, both physically. Are you talking physical space? No. And that's all. Psychological space. Yeah. Inward space. Yeah. Inward space. Yeah. Wait. Yes. Of course. Wait in <laughs> <laughs> no. Inward space. Yes. Right. Who creates it? Nobody. Then how does it come about? It doesn't come about. Then human beings haven't got that space. They, ha they have it. It's a matter of paying attention to it, of making yourself available to it. It's not that you create it. Available to space. Available to, yes. Available Which to means the gaps. What? Which means not speeding so much so that I don't see that they are there all Which the time. Which means, uh, would you say, when there is, for the, bre for the skull mm. <coughs> to oh. have space, there must be no self. Yes. That's it. Right? I agree. Mm. That's, oh, that's better. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That means that's self better. is limited. There should be no activity of the self. Mm -hmm. No deception, saying I'm no self, but I'm hiding there. Correct. <coughs> then, the monkey doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. the, the what doesn't exist? The monkey doesn't exist. Well, this is again where no, I don't wait, see it. The, we said... It, it continues to exist. No, but, of course I exist. Yeah. But the self I'm talking about. The me, mm -hmm. both the physical, psychological, all the me, mm -hmm. memory. This vast bundle of memories, which is me, mm -hmm. If that bundle of memory ceases, hmm, then there is 
infinite space. That's all. Granted. Now, Where's the monkey? Huh? Where's the monkey now? The, there's no monkey. Well, this is what I don't see. The monkey's still there. It's just let, in a bigger let, space. Let's define. <laughs> you mean the monkey as the body? As the self. The monkey as the self. Mm -hmm. The monkey as the body, as the thought, as the memories, as the sense of I have a Therefore, wife, etc. We et said that. Mm -hmm. We said memory, thought, experience, knowledge is limited. Yeah. Therefore, giving me any amount of space inwardly is still limited. It's just that it's one thing that is, is limited. The other thing is that in its limitation, it is now tame, so that it is not the source or the cause of further trouble. But it's still limited. Yes. That's all. But, yeah, okay. I mean, you, I, I, sometimes I don't know what do you mean by that's all. By? By that's all. No, by I mean it may, ha it may somehow create or bring about, or exist, or live in that space. Mm -hmm. And I say, that space, however wide, however extensive, however deep, the monkey, the self, is still there. Mm -hmm. You agree to yes. that? Mm. That's fine. That's all. Oh, we're in agreement. Yeah, we're, we're in agreement. <laughs> agreement. So that, that's an agreement. That's, yes. The yes. monkey's mm. there. Monkey's still there. Yes. Mm. I know all the tricks of the monkey. Yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. No, no. Point. I know all the tricks. Mm -hmm. I've watched my, mm, the monkey operating at various levels, various... It's still the monkey. Mm-hmm. What is the next question? Well, the next question is... If the monkey is very satisfied, say, I've got lots of space, I'm happy, I'm wiggling my okay. tail and um, related to everything and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You say that, that's fine. Fine. So the next question that I would ask myself is, that seems to be a, the a fruition of a process of cultivation, which... which I need to start where I am, which is the monkey in a small space, so how to cultivate the larger space. Now, how can the space, it comes to the same thing, sir. Mm -hmm. can that space be cultivated? The space itself, no. My attitude ah. to, be, to it, yes. I don't yeah. understand you. Well, can I put it an ex as an example? I can say that, for example, just a, a metaphor. If I close the, the curtains of this room, it doesn't mean that there is no sky, right? I have to have an attitude to open up the curtains and say, oh, there is sky. So it's not that I cultivate Would sky, you, I cultivate you? my attitude to make myself available to the perception of sky. It's the same sort of phenomenon. I have an attitude mm -hmm. that war is ugly, brutal. Mm -hmm. I have okay. an attitude. Yeah. But I go on killing. It's a possibility. Yes. Yeah, but so that's what. Or uh, the attitude might bring me to say, I won't kill anymore. It's not an attitude. What do you mean by attitude? Yeah, I by wanted attitude. to ask, what, what are they? Are they, do they have to do something with values, attitudes? No, I sir, can I change. Can values I change? Values are already. Attitudes mm. they bring about. Can no, they change? I'm just asking, sir. How does the monkey create space for itself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the question. Right. That's we'll a big question. Back. That is a great question. Let's oh. do it. Let's, change. let's examine that. That's a great question. Yeah. Uh, I, I put that question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with that question? It needs a change. Kick it around? Yeah. Put it this way, that way, the other way, and the other way. But the question still remains. Mm -hmm. How about trying? What? How about trying different ways? You have tried it ten different ways now. Mm -hmm. This morning, I can see what we have done. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. You have kicked the monkey from corner to corner <laughs> in the same field. <laughs> right? So, 
What is the next question? Can the monkey create the space by itself? Which means it has to be, it monkey has to end. Mm. Not as a physical monkey, but the whole inward structure, inward mm -hmm. state, inward, mm, right? Well, I mean, again, I'm where, putting where it quickly, you can okay, expand it, fine. kick it around, mm -hmm. we can come back to the same thing. Mm -hmm. Can the monkey create its own space? Uh, go ahead. Oh no, the, the question, the, the question that, that comes up there is the monkey is is caught in the cell, or the the monkey is caught in the monkey makes small space. Monkey makes wherever it is, it will make a small, small space. space. Right now, yeah, how monkey. that monkey is in this small space. It seems to me that that there's something about uh, some understanding of seeing that small space that dissolve that is dissolves it. Right. That's it. That's and, and, and now that we, we keep to that one statement. When the monkey realizes, sees, perceives, pays attention, whatever word you like to use, that itself, whatever it does, is still limited. Right. Agree? Mm -hmm. Whatever it does, right. prays to God, goes to science, right? Whatever mm -hmm. it does, it is still the monkey. Right. So it cannot create space. Mm -hmm. No, right. Mm -hmm. At that moment, it makes himself available to itself. No, it's, the, no you it's, see, it cuts when you itself say available, it is still the monkey. Uh, the mm -hmm. monkey, at the, at, at, up until the point, at which he actually lets go of his being the monkey. Yes, that's mm -hmm. which that's the <laughs> but whole he point. has to <laughs> be monkey, tr making himself available to drop it before he can actually it drop it. It's still the monkey, so whether it can drop, that's right. It cannot create space. Mm -hmm. Agree to that? Mm -hmm. This <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, so that it's like going back to David's point. The monkey, to be a monkey, has to be very smart. To create all of the illusions of its own enclosure has to be very smart. That intelligence, it's so intelligent that it can also see his own trapping. We've right. said that. Right. But that is precisely the interesting thing, that this intelligence is two-sided. On the one hand, it can create this confusion, and on the other hand, it can see itself. But when it sees itself, it's in some sense, in a limited sense, but nevertheless, in some sense, sense, its own creation, this its is own important. undoing. This is important, Krishna Ji, because in our past discussions, at this point, we usually say that the insight of the monkey into the fact that he's enclosed in a space is that, that in some way or other brings a stop to the monkey. But the question is, when is there more to the stop than the inside? When does the monkey realize its own limitation? Mm. When, did you say? When? When? Yeah. Well, when at the moment it sees, at the moment it sees its own futility. No. When does yeah. that happen? That, that, okay. Go that, slowly, yes. sir, go slowly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When does this happen? When you knock it, knock it on the head? When it's suffering. Or Wait, come, come, let's go into it. When does it see, my God, whatever I do will always be limited. When there is a see? breakdown in its world. Huh? When there is a breakdown in its world. When does it break down? When there is a breakdown? Is there suffering? All the time there is a breakdown. No, sir, sir, sir. Just Look, I'm the monkey. I'm, I'm the monkey. Okay, you you lost your wife or your Wait, house burned. So it means what? Suffering. And a crisis. Yes. Crisis, suffering. Wait, a crisis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a breakdown. Mm -hmm. See what you're saying. Mm. That it needs a crisis for it to wake up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Right? I question that. 
Oh, wait a second. Stop. It needs it Sorry. as a usual first step, but then one realizes that the breakdown is happening all the time. It's no, happening sir. right now. No, no, no. We just made sure. The, I said just now, asked just now, when does the monkey realize mm. the fact, the reality, the truth that it is limited? It can climb monks, mm. go trees, it can run, it can swim, it can enter into laboratories and in dissect, do everything <laughs> it wants. It is still the, the terrible monkey. Mm. And when does it realize? When does it say, my God, I'm limited? Well, we Not theoretically, but... In a crisis, we said. I question that. We've had crises. Every year we have a crisis. Mm. Every day we have a crisis. I fought with my wife. Governments are cheating us, misruling us. You say one thing, another scientist says another thing. When do I realize that I'm limited? I've had suffering, right? Untold suffering. Mm -hmm. Not only me, but the world. Yeah. When I see those yes. D Day entertainment, mm -hmm. I suffer. I've suffered. That hasn't changed the monkey, because we have suffered for thousands of years. Why? Why not? We have had thousands of pleasures. So you need the, the convergence of two things, right? The what? suffering and the possibility of somebody or something or some... Uh, that's your right. You are now off again. I'm <laughs> off to mm -hmm. say because when you, you say have to have the combination... When you say off, hmm? yeah. you mean outside agency? No. I'm saying that the outside agency can be a perfect clear manifestation of the inside agency. Yes. We but you have to have the combination of the two, of yes. saying it is, is futile and there is an alternative. It's like in your example the other day, you run onto somebody that says, you could go south. It's the same sort of thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, when does the monkey wake up? Say, I'm limited. Do you know what that means, sir? Any action, you understand? Any action of the monkey, still the monkey. Vertical, horizontal, creates space, it's still the terrible little entity called the monkey. So man has invented God, outside agents will help me. Right? He's praying. Mm. He's still the monkey. Can you say what should be done? I don't <laughs> I'm waiting. I yes. Right? <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> have I'm you just have you come to an impasse? Uh, uh, in the conversation, in the in the dialogue, in the conversation, no, no not at all. No. When I said the mon whatever the monkey does, whatever, mm -hmm. is still the monkey. Yes, and uh, agree. I agree. You, that means you come to a stop. It's all paths. You come against a wall. Mm -hmm. Wall. You understand? Don't misunderstand wall mm. like me. You stuck there. You come to a realization. Yes. You, you come to the realization. Yes. Whatever it does, it's limited. Limited. Yes. What does that mean? 
Is it a theory? Is it a theory? Yes, let's discuss it. Or it is an actuality that you are up again. Whoa, you can't move. There is no escape. But there are people who know that. Huh? Also researchers and scientists know. No, we know that it is so. Yes, we agree. I, I just wanted to then say... what do we do, we, sir? We are some of us who know that you are right. That's then quite so. What do we do? Yeah, I ask this. I don't know. But what should we do? We should do something, we just can't wait. We're stuck in the room now. We yeah, are. The question. We can't so, go out yes, of the room. Look what yes, you're doing. I am asking. Look we, what we you're doing, sir. Is. Look what you're doing. Yeah. You don't stop and say, look, I'm a pass. Let's th I right there, stopped. you say we don't stop impit. What about that act of stop? Sir? You are against a wall. You don't have to s stop. It wall prevents you moving. That is true. We I never have come to that now. point. I question that. We never no, have. Otherwise, you have the answer. Of course. What should we do? Well, tell us. This is we yes. we it's not, it's not a, I would like no, to hear no, no, what we shall we do we because already he said. is right. We already that said is it. right what he said. What we shall already we do? said. What? One thing is that we don't know what to do. The other thing is that we don't apply ourselves to do it. Well, what, what, two what, different things. What, what was the we we talked about, we what we talked what about we creating the space it. around the mountain. Didn't we? I think we've been nobody understood. where we're there now and there's nowhere else to move. There's nothing. We can't talk about it anymore. We're but not. We're stuck. But tell us. We're not. Tell what <laughs> we should to do. To speak about it is to move away from it. We're just stuck there. What should we do? Slowly, tell. I, mm -hmm. I am waiting I'm very much in my being at Brockwood. I hope that I would tell something to those people at home who exactly are of the same opinion, as you said. Sir, so, sir, so, I'm are stuck. you. Please have tell. I, have me. I said I can't move anymore? No, you have said we can't move anymore. <laughs> I, you said that to yourself. I, no, I'm sorry, I never said that. What should be done? Can we rise Because I don't feel that that's, that that's true. There is this if, if, realization if, of the absolute impossibility, and at the same time, there is all the gaps, all the hope and all the space right there, no, together there and at no the same hope time. When you're up against a wall. No, that's not true. Yes. Because no, the, the, the sudden about? realization of the complete limitation brings with it the complete clarity of the space with it. Those things are is both that, true. Are you, is that an actuality to you? Is it, sir? Huh? Yeah, is I, it I not? I don't understand. Yes, sir, but you're... You let me is it that. not, sir? No, just why a why no. couldn't it be shared? Just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> we can share... We can share it together if we're both hungry. And food is put... But it's here. Yes, sir. Do I realize that whatever I do, I'm still the monkey? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. either in the future or in the past or in <laughs> whatever I do. To realize, it's a tremendous shock to realize that. Mm -hmm. Right? Shock. Both organically and psychologically. Right? Shock. Mm -hmm. 
And if you can remain with that shock, not dissipate it, you understand? So that there is no escape, no explanation, no rationalization. Anything I do is still the monkey. See what has happened. There is then a totally different action. Yes, sir. I thought you said there was no hope. This is exactly no, what I just said. It is not a hope. Oh. I am no hope. Oh, no? No, sir, I am no hope. Because I am against the wall. If I hope, I won't but escape. But you just said there is a totally different action coming out of that. What? But you just said there is a totally ah, different action coming out of that. For me, no. <laughs> maybe. What, what do you mean, mean for me and that? No, sir. <laughs> sir, I am saying. Do I realize, I, you, Schoenberg, that whatever you do, hmm, whatever you think, whatever you act, whatever you hope, is still the monkey will play? Hmm? That means you have come to a complete stop. Have you? I am not asking personally, so that is up to you. Have you? Complete stop. Uh, let's take it. No step. argument. No, 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 no. Let's take it another step. How can I put it? Uh, the stop is. What happens with you and me now? I mean, now we have we're together in this stop. I also, as Schoenberg. I forget chamber. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, no, no, right. no, no. You are there, right. in front of me. Right. You, right. Have you stopped? Well, there is no answer to that question. Yes, sir, there is. Don't dodge it. You, we have argued for three days, right? Look, if I say I have stopped, I know. That's, that's I, and I, then I haven't stopped. No, no, that would be absurd. Right. That's... But you have come to realize not you, sir, forgive me, I am not being impolite or impudent. You have come to realize whatever you do, you are still the monkey. And therefore, always limited. You understand, sir? I will tell you something, sir. I met a man, not met a man, you used to, I used to know him. <coughs> he was a judge. And one day he said, I'm passing judgment, left and right, about crime and murder, all kinds of things, but I don't know what truth is. So he said to his family, I'm going away. I'm going to find it. He spent 25 years, I mean, these are facts, meditating, find out what truth is. So somebody came, introduced, brought him to one of the talks which I was giving, which is unimportant, and he came to see me afterwards. He said, I've 25 years, I've been mesmerizing myself, it's called for it. deceiving myself. I have not found truth. You understand? Hmm. There it is. For I'm an old man to realize that he has 25 years deluded himself. To admit that. You can't believe it. You see, sir, when I, when you, when one actually faces the fact that you cannot do anything, monkey, the, the 
brain, the inside, apart from the rhythm, comes to quiet, says that. No tricks anymore. So this has been the problem of meditation. You know the word? Mm-hmm. I'm not inserting this, I'm sure you know the word. They have tried every method, you understand? Zen, Buddhist, Tibetan, going off in solitude, hmm? following various systems invented by thought, to come up against this, say, look, that's the end. What can he, I say? He, it's not my experience. He's looking at you. <laughs> well, maybe he's looking at me. <laughs> it's maybe um, because it's we would go back to about halfway our conversation this morning when I said it's not my experience. <laughs> yeah, but what about right now? Yes, right now. Right now, in a sense, this. I mean, not in a sense. I mean, the stop. And now? Yes. Now what? Now yeah. what? You cultivate that. Well, I don't... Is that cultivating? This is... I don't know if it's cultivating according to Krishna G. No, I'm saying according, according, to according to meditation. Not according to me, sir. No. Not according to me. <laughs> no, I mean, no. we all said cultivation. No, I said, I don't know, according to, to, to you. I said according cultivation. To, we yes. all agree to cultivation implies motive, time, yes. Yes. Uh, and... Yes, absolutely. Yes. An effort, or and that I don't see that as an intrinsic problem. The problem would be that that motivation would not be cognizant of its limitations. But if the motivation says, "I know of my lack of vision," but it is an attitude that makes it possible to constantly come back to that realization of limitation, then that's cultivating a meditative active. A meditative action. Therefore, you so very mot- motivation by itself is not problematic. Motivation is problematic when it's completely devoid of any context of its limitation. When it believes in itself. At least this is as far as you know any but pragmatic or exactly. any exactly. practical way of cultivation. You are still, we are still, not you, sir. The monkey is still active. Yes. <laughs> And I, I, I said again, I don't see a problem with the monkey acting and being a monkey. The problem is when the monkey is in a little room. Right, so I, I, don't, I, don't have any, I, I don't have any animosity against the, the okay, monkey. Against being a monkey. <laughs> I do have animosity <laughs> against being constrained. <laughs> no, no. Yes. I'm, no. I'm not concerned. Mm. So, now what do you mean by that word concern? Constrained. Constrained, 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 constrained in space. Strain, constrained, constrained. Yes. Aren't we constrained? Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. And I, I, that's precisely what needs to be worked on and dealt yes. with. No. Therefore, what really interests me is what are the actual practicalities, the actual practicalities of cultivating that spaciousness. That spaciousness. Space. Because the monkey is not the problem, the constraint is what makes the monkey the crazy. You see the difference? I say it's not no, the constraint, it's the monkey constraining himself. Mm. All right, it comes to say the same thing. No, but it's the way monkey. to cultivate it is to make room for it, not to hit it monkey on the head. Monkey cannot make a room for itself. Oh, I thought we concluded that it can, because its same no, intelligence can apply to see sir, its limitations. We said whatever it does is limited. Yes, mm. and when it becomes aware ah, of that, that limitation, there is space right there. Yes, yes. That's a, when it becomes aware, 
that he, whatever he does mm -hmm. is limited. Is limited. He creates yes. space right then and yes. there. Yes. Correct. Or isn't that a fact? If you I, I'm, I'm posing you the question. Uh, very, very much in the spirit of hearing I, what you are experiencing. I would question myself whether one has, not you say, I'm not trying to be insolent, whether one has really realized the nature of the monkey. The monkey, whatever it does, is still the monkey. Mm -hmm. And the depth of that realization, it may be very superficial, or it may be profound. If when it is tr profound, it has a, some totally changes one's life. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying in here. Now, I guess I am saying that that is possible, but it not, might not be possible for every human uh, being. No, I no, no, no. Hold, 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 wait a second. My experience, and this is all I have my experience. I cannot go by your experience, of course or anybody not. else's experience. My, my experience is that those realizations come and go, and come in different degrees of depth. Sometimes it's a realization of a stupid limitation that I have imposed on myself, and I can drop it. Sometimes it can be profound. Then it's forgotten again. It is not a one-shot deal. It is not like that. Yes, sir. But I even I think you're raising another issue, if we can take a minute, and that is the fact, Krishnaji, that um, we, you seem to be saying and uh, that that the monkey, when the monkey is the monkey caught up in the monkey nest, in the monkey business, that there is no relationship to the intelligence whatsoever. It's still monkey. It's still monkey. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there's no intelligence no. involved, mm -hmm. and there, there, and in a way that the brain itself, as again coming back to the brain or some of its functions, that when that monkey business is going on, it's all monkey business. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, is whether the intelligence comes in, mm -hmm. and and there, there is an aspect to the monkey which is intelligent. And therefore, that the intelligence appreciates the limitations of the exactly. monkey, and at and the same time knows. The, uh, yesterday, you said, you made a statement yesterday, or our discussion took the statement that the intelligence sees that thought is limited. No, sir. I said, let's first we defined, we went into the question of intelligence, the intelligence of thought and the intelligence of love. Right. And I asked you, or we tried to get at, that's where we ended the other day, is what is the relationship between the intelligence of love and the intelligence of thought? What is the intelligence? What is... The relationship. Relationship. I understand your question. What is the relationship of a man who doesn't hate and a man who hates? There is no relationship. No, I don't. No. That's not true. That's not my experience. Uh, my not experience. experience you, well, I question. Him? I doubt everybody's question, including my own. Okay. Okay. But I'm saying, how? Let's discuss that. Not experience. Right. Then you are lost. My experience, your experience. But what's what's the relationship of man? who loves, in the sense we are talking about, mm -hmm. and the man who hates. I is Just look at it, sir. What is, how can they be? Well, I think there is a relationship. All right. And I think you think so, too. I've seen you embrace people who you know hate. I mean, you... I like just me, sir. Of course. So what is your relationship when you embrace a man I, you know who hates? I... No. Hate has no relationship to love, right. but yeah. love has a relationship yeah. to hate. <laughs> See, yes. Okay. Ah, that's mm. all, that's all. Yes. Not the other way around. Mm -hmm.
So yes. that intelligence has a relationship to thought. No, sir. Now, love has to do with embracing, as I told you the first day, that's a good word, embrace, understand, in Finnish, so that I can understand, and not the other way around. Right, so what is the relationship between intelligence mm. and thought? Yes. Mm. We said that, sir. No, we have thought, really. thought has its own intelligence, right? We agree to that. Love, compassion has its own intelligence. The intelligence of thought has no relationship with that intelligence, but that intelligence has, has a relationship. Yes, right. yes, that is. So, understand. What is the relationship of intelligence to the monkey? None. Not this way. Uh, that way, yes, but not this but not way. Not the other. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So now. No. Mm. What is the event of intelligence finding, seeing the limitations of the monkey? What, what? Sir, just a minute. These are very simple. You are no longer the monkey. I am the monkey. What is my relationship to you? None. But what is my relationship to you? You have a relationship. You have yeah. love, compassion, all that. that but way. I have no relationship with you. Mm -hmm. I'm still the monkey. Mm -hmm. When I cease to the monkey, I don't want you. I am. You are mm -hmm. finished. Mm -hmm. You want to stop? stop. That's one of the most unfortunate things in all this. Not, I'm not referring to, to you, gentlemen. Each one is pursuing his own way, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a way to overcome that? Yes, sir. I want my career, my business, my, and he says to me, what? All of us are doing this in the world. Right? Creating havoc in the world. So how could it be otherwise? You do what you do, I do what I do. No. Isn't there... Can we all be together? Yes. Where? We cultivate our love. Oh, we no, don't say Why that. not? Cultivate Why love? Why not? So you, that means what? That means making yourselves available to that possibility. Why does it have to we, be a sir, sir, just a minute, sir. Just, we've discussed this point. You're going back to that thing. Yes. That I'm is not so. cultivable. I, itself it is not. No, but I won't. Uh, all right, relationship with it. This is, is it. This is what makes us. I st you stick to your point, and others stick to his point, and there, there, this world is like that. Yeah, beginning again, the no, same round. Well, I'm. It is not. I mean, sir, look, not sir, because we not we have different styles. I don't appreciate you. <laughs> the communist sticks to his ideology. One bad Krishna Ji, I wouldn't harm you because you think differently yeah, I understand, from I do. Sir, I understand, sir. But just <laughs> I'm telling you, sir. Not for one minute. Look, sir. Can we all be together? Not physically, but inwardly. So that you are a light to yourself. There has to be some sense that, I mean, for instance, it's a, for that to happen, it seems to me, is you have to see him as a monkey in your space who has plenty oh, of room to pluck. Don't go mm. back to that monkey <laughs> business. <laughs> <laughs> it's always there. Yeah. <laughs> no, sir. This is our difficulty. Mm. I think one of the difficulties is that we don't recognize 
let the thing play, that we are different. Exactly. You're di you do your thing. I appreciate I do mine. the difference. He does yours. We love, I even no. love your Not difference. The difference. That you're different, I love it. If the love is there, there's no difference. Well, that's oh. looking at oh. a different level. <laughs> <laughs> If yeah. I love my wife, do you think I have any difference? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have difference and similarity. No, 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 sir. He's arguing again. Mm. I think we're arguing again. We better stop, sir. Yes, we better stop now. <laughs>